Ladies, this is the last time you will see my nose as it is. to be pierced in a couple hours so I thought I would um, you know record a little bit with it unpierced um, I'm really excited but uh, at the same time I'm kind of like nervous cuz I uh, I've never gotten anything pierced aside from my ears so it's <laughs> kind of like oh, okay I can do this, but um, apparently it doesn't hurt too much, it just like throbs, like you know if you slam your hand in a door or something like that, like a few hours later it's still gonna throb a little, you know, that's, apparently that's what it feels like, it doesn't hurt at first and then it just, it just throbs. So um, I'm hoping that's all the pain I will suffer um, from it. So as you can tell I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now, it's actually cold outside, I mean like it's, it's 65 degrees but it, it's chilly. For San Diego, and it's like really overcast, so that's what's going on there. Um, it's actually not bad in my room. It's kind of warm in here actually, but um, sure. Like, hold on. This is my my shirt from Threadless. Let me turn this on, just to make sure you can see. Um, this is just one of them. I've worn like every single other one except for like one, and this is a shotgun, and it's got the rules to it right here. So, it's awesome. About my, my nose. It's green. Um, not my nose, the ring. But there's this tiny issue that I had. Um, I went to a party right after I got this done, pretty much. And it swelled up a lot. And, um, I couldn't tell if the ball, like, um... There's a stud right here, and then there's a ball on the other side, and the ball is supposed to be, like, inside my nose, and that's how I know that it's in. And I couldn't tell if the ball was in, but I had this, like, part, like, I had a spot of ink on my face, and Janelle was wiping at it, and somehow, miraculously, caught the stud and pulled it, like, out of my nose. So now, I, I knew that it, the ball wasn't through, I knew the, the ring wasn't through, and I can't get it through. So, and it, it's still swollen on the inside, so I've been taking Advil, trying to get the swelling down. But every time I try to, like, poke it through, I get really lightheaded and I start bleeding a lot. So I'm kind of like, don't know what to do, because I don't want it to get infected, so it's kind of, whew. But yeah, it's, it's not actually in, so I have to keep on poking it in. I, uh, I got it done, and, like... It wasn't- I'm, I'm okay with needles, and I'm okay with blood, but I'm not okay with sounds. That is- that is what gets me, and I- I heard the needle go through the cartilage, and I said, Oh my god. And, uh, he let it sit there for a while, um, and then he was like, I'll explain to you why I'm doing this after, but I'm just gonna let the needle sit there for, like, an app for a minute, maybe. Um, and then I'm gonna put the, then I'm gonna put the stud in. I'm gonna put the stud in and it, it popped, like, when it went through. And it didn't, it, it hurt a little bit, but it didn't hurt that much, you know? But, um, it was the pop and the sound of the needle going through the cartilage that just did me and I stopped breathing and then by the time I realized that I wasn't breathing correctly, I had, like, black spots coming in and, yeah, so I passed out <laughs> for about ten seconds. Um, I had, but I knew I was going to, and I was like, I need to put my head between my legs, so I did that, and everything went black, and I remember, like, I had to pee really badly, and I remember thinking, I'm going to pee my pants if I don't wake up, and that's when my eyes opened up again, and, um, everything sounded, like, really far away, like, the dude was talking to me, but he sounded like he was... 50 feet away from me, and then eventually it all came back, and I kind of sat up, and Janelle was like, I was very lucky to have her holding me up and everything, but, um, she got me to the couch, and the dude got me a 
cold glass of water and I felt a lot better after that. And I went pee. That felt really good too. And um, that was fun. And then, oh my goodness, Janelle was just so awesome. She, um, she drove me after that because I was still feeling a little faint. So she drove my car to McDonald's, bought me a giant 79 cent Coke so I could have like sugar and caffeine in me to like keep me from passing out again and then like it was just awesome and she drove me home and she like held my hand through it all and she, you can't you can't buy friends like that so I was very very grateful to her and if she watches this I love you Janelle you're just awesome I had my last day of work on Wednesday and my boss is super super cool because I came in on Thursday and he was like, oh man, I just sent you an email telling you that you didn't have to come in today because uh, we finished testing this morning while, while you were at school. And uh, now I feel bad that you came in because I know you live kind of far away. So just put down an extra two hours for today. I'll approve those. And I was like, oh, Jim, you're awesome. So I got an extra 24 bucks. Rachel? The Wizard Rock concert was, was awesome. Thank you for putting clips in there. That was good for me too because I really wanted to go and um, that was kind of impossible. So that's awesome. Thank you. Um, did she play Nerdfighter like at all? Because that's like my favorite song by her. And Black Santa's. I love them both. Um, uh, I'm really glad both of you had a good fall break and that you were home and everything. I've been home since May 15th. So I really, you know whatever. Nicole and Rachel, you both need to get Skype so we can talk via webcam. Um, I've been kind of avoiding Skype because the only person I really talked to on there was, um, you know, Breakfast Man. We should, we should all record a vlog together. We'll just mash all our clips together somehow. Maybe. So, there was a challenge given. Um... It's a good challenge. Uh, I would just like to answer that my favorite character is Ginny Weasley, or Ginny Potter, I guess her name is now. Speaking of songs, um, I sent you guys the lyrics to the one that I've been writing, um, and I've got this like awesome chord progression for it. My guitar is over there, so I'm not gonna break it out. It's probably not in tune anymore. But it, I like arpeggiated. Um, I went C, E minor, G, E minor, C, G. E minor C, I think. And it sounds like really, really cool. I just don't know, like, how I'm gonna be able to play it while I'm singing. Because I don't know, um, what I'll be singing yet. Um, I don't. Because I want it to sound like Paramore. But at the same time, I want it to sound like me. Um, I don't know if that made any sense. Um, Rachel, I will see you Wednesday. Nicole, I will see you Friday, and I love you both bunches and bunches, and Rachel, I'm really excited to see what's coming in the mail, and Nicole, I'm really excited to hear your poem. Should be good. Okay, I love you, bye-bye!